That would have been hilarious. You standing on that shitter was hilarious. What is up, y'all? It's hump day. Um, Sorry, I'm just letting folks, some folks know. I don't know how many people know we're actually getting off to this tonight. Finally. There, there's some comments. Look at all these overachievers in here. They're all everywhere. I know. We're, I'm a little off today, guys. And, and so I'm gonna, things are going to look a little different, but just for today. So, T, how the hell are you doing, brother? Well, I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. So, uh, been a hell of a year, right, Sue? <laughs> yeah, the next thing, next guy I'm going to is Sue. Yeah, you know how to start the year off with a bang, don't you, Sue? Bang. Bang yeah, yeah, I, I, my wife is proud of me. I've only bought one gun so far this year, so <laughs> lacquer, lacquer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I just, I just got out of the VA hospital, guys. So I appreciate all the, uh, all the condolences, and uh, it's just a. Uh, uh, a small inflammation of the heart lining, I guess. Uh, uh, I don't know what big long word. Uh, something itis. Something itis. Yeah. Something itis. Something itis. Cardi cardi uh, cardi cardi. What everybody was getting when they took gonorrhea for herpalitis. Alan corrected me. Gonorrhea for herpalitis. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Chris nailed it. I'm feeling a lot better though. I appreciate all the all the words of kindness and 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 some of the jabs too. We we threatened we threatened Stu that we were going to come to the hospital and do the do the live from there with him in his yeah. hospital bed like and 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 he didn't believe it, but we meant in, that shit. <laughs> it was it was happening. In a VA, up, what he rolled. In a VA I, hospital, they would have they would set it all up to the loony bin on the fifth. Yes, floor. they would have. <laughs> and then last but not least tonight, guys, we got my buddy Donnie Dunn sitting in. Some of you guys remember Donnie. He used to be in on podcasts all the time, and he's gotten yeah. to be a big guy. But we, I'm back. Today, was, back. today was a little different. First one of the year. We're, we're kind of going free form, and I wanted to bring Donnie in to hang yeah, out with we're everybody. Back. Well, the world so, is a bit crazy. It's, it's a wee bit crazy right now. Just a test. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah, just a wee bit. Good one. I just need to get Alan Kay down here so I can snuggle with him. Yeah, I had I had him I had him over for the holidays. That was he was yeah, he's he's a good man he's to have great, around. Good he's man a great snuggler. Around. Yeah, yes, yeah. He's he's always fun to hang out with. Yes, so. he is. So, uh, so 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 what are you guys looking forward to the year? T, we're gonna start with you. Like like projections. What are you thinking, man? Projections, man. I don't even know. I think I think this year is just gonna be interesting, and it, and it started oh, out oh. interesting too. Uh, yeah. It, I, I, I don't care which direction it goes with the election and stuff like that. Either way, it's going to be exciting. So it's it's too early to tell, but it's going to be exciting. Lord. That's that's all I'm going to say about it. What the hell? Why am I not connected here? Hang on a minute. Huh. All right. Sorry. I'm trying to fix something so I can make comments. Doo, doo, ah. doo. I guess that one. Yeah. I want Some people are saying stuff. Jesus, why is it doing this? It's never done this before to me. Of course, today, just that kind of day. All right, I'm in now. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm nervous about this year, Sue. What about you, man? I, since I was laying in the hospital bed the last couple of days, I got to catch up on the news. And there's three, three main headlines really bother me. Uh, number one, the Secretary of Defense has just disappeared for a week, you know, 10 days. I, you don't do that when you've got Houthi rebels shooting drones at our ships all over the place. you got yep. Ira Iranian... Uh, back militias shooting drones at our troops on the ground in Syria and Iraq. And, and the Secretary of Defense, who's part of the National Command Authority, just decides not to show up. And his assistant, Secretary of Defense, is on vacation in Puerto Rico. <laughs> what are we doing? Sanity. It's crazy. So that was number How one. about all the billionaires? All the billionaires building bunkers now. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, I just too. Heard. Yeah, million million out dollars. of the blue, man. We all, everybody's got a bunker. Well, the other one that shocked me was Hunter Biden walking out of that hearing today. I was just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, they're good. They, hey, why will they not hold him in contempt? I don't. I, I want. I want to shake his hand. I, that, that's just proven right there. He's basically telling the American people, "Hey, 
the yep. heck with you. I'm better than you. I'm better. Yep. He just he just lost the election for his father right there, as far as yep. I'm concerned. If anybody's well, got half a brain, if anybody's got half a brain, they would say these people think they're better than everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, I, I what do you think, Donnie? Well, that's a pretty open-ended question, Chris. But I, I have to say, I've been in the preparedness game hot and heavy for over 20 years, and there's been times that we've all, you've been there, we've talked about it, you know, 2020, we're like, man, this could be it. I tell you the all the parts and pieces and the, and all the ingredients in the pot are shaping up for 2024 to be a, a year we probably won't forget with the election, huh. up. all the, all the conflicts, memorable conflicts, you know, the Houthis um, uh, attacking the ships. We're in for a ride this year, I think. Oh, for sure. For sure. What's up, Larry Dial? Just popped in. Good to see you. Will's in the house. We had all kinds of yeah. folks in here. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I'm I, worried about the election and all. Uh, you know, I don't think that, uh, well, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know it's not going to be good no matter what happens with it. I have a feeling. Um, well, so one, way the, one, one way or the other, half the country is going to be mad at the, the, the other half. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah, yeah. So. and I'm and I'm more concerned about the the southern border too, with the just the sheer volume of traffic coming through there and the money that we are spending to enable that. We're well, we're, kicking kids out of, we're kicking kids out of school in New York City to house immigrants. I saw that. We're yeah. Kicking yeah. kids out of their school. And the up. other thing, if if you look if you look at all those films, <clears throat> of those people coming across the border, they're okay. they're, they're not families. They're middle. They're they're, they're military age fighting men. age males, man. Yeah, and none. <laughs> And I don't see a I don't see a Latino one coming across Arizona. <laughs> not a Latino one. What's going yeah. on? Yeah, We're yeah. everybody through, you know. And they're not, and they're not South Americans or Central Americans for That's the majority. There's no they're, Latinos. They're, no Latinos. They're they're Asian or African. Asian, African. Um, I, I caught a clip the other day where there was a white South African guy with his son because yeah. he was just like it's that's another spot that if you guys aren't tracking, I would suggest track what's tracking what's occurring in South Africa as a pre a, a portent of what's to come here, because what's going on there will one of these days be here in, in short order. Yes, I hope yeah. not. You know, I'm um, really good friends with a, with a tactical trainer based in South Africa. And he's one of the best I've ever trained with because he travels the world training and the stories he's told me about South Africa, especially now with farms being taken over, people being slaughtered. That's a scary proposition there, Mr. Weatherman. Oh yeah, and they're and they're stealing everything that ain't bolted down. Well, even if it is bolted down, they're still stealing it. I mean, every day somebody in South Africa gets electrocuted to death stealing power lines. They dig up water mains and, and tear them out of the ground. I saw a video the other day. This dude was ripping the water pipe off the side of somebody's house, and water's just gushing out of it. And he was just stealing the copper. It's it's just bizarre to see what these guys are doing. You know, up until this year, I think before all of this, you know, for years, just like. Like Donnie said, it's, you know, with talking about ifs and maybes, you know, well, if this happens, well, maybe this will happen. I think we're past the if and maybes, you know, we're to the um, uh, the winds and the howls now, you know, exactly. where it happens, how it happens. happens. Yeah, exactly. it, ifs and maybes are, it, look here, y'all, if you're, if you're, um, if you're preparing for the ifs and the maybes, you are, you need to, you need to recheck your list, man. This is, this is prepare for when and how is what I'm looking at. Very yep. well said. You're absolutely right, brother. It is. I, I just can't see it not being a chaotic year with all the, the multiple things going on. You know, you've got Indo-Pacific with, with the Taiwan thing. Who knows where that's going to go? But you see the militarization of the outer island chain. Um, this thing, I tell you, what scares me the most, or I don't say scared because I don't really get scared, but what concerns me the most is this stuff going on with Sudan and going on, um, you know, th throughout the continent of Africa, but also really in the Middle East with the shipping. Um, major shipping companies are ceasing shipments now, which I, I kind of don't blame them. Um, that That's scary because that has ramifications that shudder all the way through to every part of this yeah. country in the world. You know why the shipping lines are, are stopping the, the transit of their vessels. The real reason, correct? The real reason is they can't get insured. Insurance yeah. companies no, are the right. No, you're absolutely here. right. I read that. That's yeah. why that's happening. Yeah. Well, can you? And I can't blame them because they know they're going to take losses, and so they're like, "Yeah, no, we're not going to do that." You know. So. Weird stuff. Where was it? Was it China that the the thousands and thousands of fish floated up on the 
the beach. Did you see that? Uh-uh. Something about that. Yeah, it was like a couple, couple hundred thousand fish just showed up sonar, dead. Sonar, some kind of Chinese super secret submarine technology from what I read about that. Is that, that what that, you read? I saw it. I was like, there's dead fish everywhere. And then there's something, I saw something about a mall and aliens or giants running around. Oh, well, yeah, that was bullshit. That's that was bullshit. Sorry. Well, I uh, you're fine. You're, we only have to mind it for the first minute. Now you're cool. Uh, oh, I saw that yeah, video of that thing floating around, and that looked like the, the droid from Empire Strikes Back to me. Uh, uh, on uh, on Hot. Um, What's his name? Uh, hey, can Joey say hi real quick? Of course, Joey can say hi real quick. But Sue knows Everybody Joey. Loves Sue Joey. loves Joey. Everybody hey, loves get Joey. Get back in there, Joey. My hair. Here, here, I got someone to say hi to. Oh, boy. Booja, booja, booja. Yes. Oh, man. What? Oh, damn, you look good, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> <What? laughs> you know, you don't know that yet. She never learned Japanese. Nah, not a word of it. What'd you say? And I thought, what with two cushy desu ka? You fucking dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's really hey, mean right hey, now, man. He's just phone sometime, bitch. Alan's looking good these days. I don't have a phone. Yeah, he, he looks. Really he, he look, I gotta say, dude. You know, you don't look like you just came in from British Columbia. You look good. He does look good. Yep. Yep. I mean, yep. you know, and it's he good. made me famous. We did a we did a video with Emery in a for during the holidays and. Uh, Alan's the best dancer to ever have on 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 oh, your. On I'm your friend to that. I saw that. that. <laughs> <laughs> he'll break with a quickness, boy. He'll, he'll break a jig out with the quickness. It's like Frank Sinatra or something, man. He's skimming all over the place. <laughs> we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to play it here on on Tactical Man, right, it's right. damn good to be back with my either with Tactical well, right or Hey, Holly, or is, is, to to the, to the illustrious Miss Holly in the background. Is there any way we could play that video in here right now? I don't, I don't know if we can, but uh, but I, but if we can, I want to. So, because uh, it is fantastic. So we're gonna have to reformat it. Holly's gonna have to get it to us somehow for for everybody to to view. Because I I thought it turned out hilarious. And it was done in one take. You know, we were just sitting around, just hey, let's just sit around this afternoon and make videos. And that, that was that was probably the best one that we did all, yeah. all year. Uh, right before the there will video. never right ever before the new year yeah. ever in history be another Alan K. <laughs> Never. Uh, he's the only guy I've actually gotten a sword fight with with real swords, and so lucky we didn't kill ourselves. Uh, that you'll have that. That kind of thing can happen from time to time. Time to time. Uh, Jeremy Gramlin in the comments asked if if we thought it would be safe for him to visit the Philippines. Um, I would say do it in the first quarter, Jeremy. <laughs> I wouldn't probably go to the Philippines. If you go, like try that. the pack pack. It's delicious. <laughs> It is. Yeah. It's Lupia. Mm. It's crunchy. A little crunchy? Mm. What kind of bug is it? No, it's it's where they take chicken out of the dumpster and they rebread it and fry it. Oh, the pack pack? That's mm. nice. That's that's awesome. That's, yeah. That sounds fantastic. Bobby Lynn's in the house with Pure Fire Tactical. Good to see you, Bobby. What's up, Bobby? Everybody loves Bobby. Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Awesome dude. Damn it, Bobby. Um, let me see. Hey, all my wife's just on her. You had a great Xmas news. That's this the Zig up in Alaska. He lives up in Alaska. He's a cool mm, cat. What part of Alaska is he? Yeah, Zig, where are you, man? Uh, Alan, Alan has he likes Alaska. We both want to go up there and take that. Yeah, I've got predator family. security class up there. I've got family in the Nilchik and uh, and also in uh, Kiski. Yeah. Christy Renee in the house. So it's uh, Priscilla. Yeah, Wasilla. Yeah, yeah, I've been been through there. Yeah, you know Terry, Chris, my 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 boy Terry's from Wasilla, born and raised. Oh, oh, is he? I got to talk to Terry too. We got to talk yeah. about. Him. Well, he's got some some coin for you. Wink That's wink. what I need to talk but, to. Uh, him. So I was watching. There was a show on History Channel called Alaska Pilots, and Terry was uh, you know he used to come over and hang out. Yeah, and uh, we're watching the show, and he's like. Oh, they're flying up Mount So and So, and the guy's like, "Yeah, that's So and Mount So and So." I'm like, "How'd you know that?" He's like, "Dude, when you were a pilot there, you go by a visual, like you know everything." I'm like, "Wow, that's pretty impressive." But, anyways, we'll talk about Terry later. So. Yeah, well, yeah, oh, well, yeah, we'll do that off course. Well, this, this is <laughs> for, for those of you that have been around a while. This is about that that um, crypto that I've been talking about for so long. It's yeah. Uh, still brewing, and um, I think this year is going to be the year for that to pick up because of that's just what's going to happen. 
it when it hits, it's gonna be getting at the ground. It's like being able to buy Bitcoin for just a couple of dollars. Yeah. Back in, remember, you know, I mean oh, I remember when Bitcoin was 90 bucks, I was looking at jumping in with ten thousand dollars and buying Bitcoin. Oh God. and and I kick myself every day for not so, doing that. So, so the guy we're talking about, real good friend of mine and Terry's, they developed a um, a Bitcoin, but they, they developed the first Bitcoin that's resistant to quantum computing, which is going to be a huge threat for Bitcoin in the near future. And in fact, I don't know the expert on it, but in the process, they um, when you get a, when you get coins from them, it writes a haiku, which is a Japanese poem and creates a piece of artwork that coincides with the poem. It, which yeah. kind of renders it um, unhackable, which I thought was really cool. Hey, to to uh, Russ in the background, for some reason, I don't have the ability to post comments onto the page. So the stuff you're starring, for some reason, I can't put up. Just FYI. And Will Gomez, you heard me on the radio today, that spot. That's cool. Which one? Because I've done like seven in the last two days. I just did one. That's why we were late tonight, guys. I was on a thing with IR Radio uh, doing a thing. The, the, the illustrious Miss Holly has been working overtime, getting me on stuff so we can talk about things. And T, I always mention mountain readiness when I'm doing those and we're plugging that at every turn. So, you know, and I even, I even, mentioned, it, brother. I even mentioned Sue, Emery, Allen, all the guys, everybody got brought up in the things I was doing. So, uh, you know, spreading the love. Spreading That's why love. we love you, Chris. So <laughs> that, that beautiful beard. That, well, that, I mean, this is why you love me. I know. But this that also is, it is. I don't know about yours, but mine has magical powers. So I'm. You know, I hear it does. I haven't tested it to the fullest extent, but you got. It seems that yours has filled out the cooler weather or something. It looks. It looks much uh, more lustrous. Now, than Mel, the last time I saw you, and and he is in in, in strict fear of her. Um, he knows she. He does not want to visit from her. So, <laughs> so he leaves my beard down alone. So did you ever finish the, the Taj Mahal chicken coop, man? We did. We did. We sunk a bunch into it. Yeah, the uh, Chicks Carlton. The Chicks Carlton the is Chicks what we brought. And um, fully fully loaded chicken coop, super max of chicken coops. But Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I've never seen a chicken coop with a hot tub and um, air conditioning right. and heating. And, I mean, yeah, what? swings, air, AC, you know, HVAC. We did the whole thing. No, we're, we didn't get that deep into it, but you know, we, um, I don't know, the older I get, I hate redoing stuff. You know, I like to do it just one time. Mm -hmm. And um, it's one of those build it, build it right, build it once things. So we've got yeah. about 2,500 bucks into it, but it's an eight by 12 uh, coop. And then we've got a 16 foot run off each end. So we can alternate back and forth between the two sides. And uh, so we get about 30 hens in there now. And, um, you know, not completely destroy, destroy the run. So we, we put those, put that all together and we just want to, you know, we, we needed a little extra room for the, for the chickens and, you know, why not make it nice? Uh, yeah. In times to come, is there really, I, we put the extra work in because with a, with a SHTF situation, can you really spare any livestock? You know, chicken like uh, I know a lot of the farmers, it's a, it's a normal thing, but, ah, you know, you're going to lose a couple here and there. I would, I would rather not lose any. So we, we put a little bit more into how we built this coop and so far so good, especially out here in the sticks, man, everything's gunning, gunning for the chickens. Well, let's, uh, oh, there it is. London. There, that's my daughter right there in London. Uh, asking what's up old dudes because to her old we dude. are all because that's what she calls me because that's what I called my dad. Who are you old calling dude. old dude? <laughs> yeah, well you're freezing your ass off in Boston, kid. So <laughs> and uh and tell Chuleta we mm -hmm. send our love. <laughs> Don't we? Don't yeah. Chuleta. Don't Chuleta. Chuleta. Yeah, you miss you miss the Discord. Right? You don't you don't know what you missed. Yeah. Let's get that off of Sue's face now. I just wanted to pop pop London up there for just a minute because uh that kid got my sense of humor, and she's one of the funniest people I know. So she's awesome. She's a great kid. Uh, let's let's run a, the the video of, of the 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 uh, chicks Carlton to see this massive build. For Yeah. 
Very yeah. nice. Yeah. I like the accent. The inside. On wood. That's very, very tasteful. Mm. Yes. I like yeah. that. Yeah. We, uh, well, with the parameter of this thing, too, you know, we've had chickens in the past, and, you know, a lot of the varmints, those predators, they'll dig underneath the coop. So we actually dug um, around the base of the coop and the runs, and we did, um, we buried a hardware mesh, a uh, foot, foot to 16 inches down around the entire perimeter. Um, and there it is with each end. We, we run uh, cattle fencing. We just bowed that cattle fencing over, put it inside the frame, and uh, yeah. stuck us a ridge beam down the center for support on, and then dropped the door on each end. So now we can, from the inside of the coop, we can drop one of the little draw bridges down. They can go to one side. We can close that side up, drop it to the other side. So, uh, yeah, they're living the life of luxury, man. Yeah. So there's the inside there. The big challenge was uh, building it on the side of a hill because in North Carolina, everything's on a hill. So, I mean, uh, T, that looks – more like a grow house than a chicken coop to me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, say that I don't know. Keep that on the lowdown. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm gonna you say know. that like that. Burn it, Amber. Hey, that's, burn it. Amber, burn it. <laughs> hey, T. Hey, that's, that's giving that's you. giving me flashbacks of Sears School. That looks more like a you know like <laughs> rudimentary prison. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, you know, so the tarp sides. The tarp sides. You can roll those up when it's nice out. Roll them up. I've actually thought about hanging some plants in there. You know, hang them off the ground. Turn into a little uh little little uh greenhouse or grow room. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Same Whatever thing. trips you, purely medicinal people. I'm gonna, I want to read hey, this. Are you going to do any rabbits on your place at all, or do you already have that? What? I'm not a big rabbit fan. I know it's good. You know, you suspend them and the rabbits, and they they work coincide. But I'm not a big rabbit fan. You don't like the meat? It's not. We have a we have the uh, pond right here stocked with with fish. Mm -hmm. uh, we should be able to start pulling a couple hundred fish out of uh, starting this year every year so uh fish chickens and uh i think sheep is next on the on the list i'm from missouri you know goat roping sheep herding that's kind of the deal i've already got my muck boots so oh, it's time to have sheep look like they do okay mm -hmm. don't get alan excited yeah, exactly so <laughs> i'm saying yeah don't man, pick, it's time don't, it's long don't overdue pick. Don't pick the ugly ones. That's that's embarrassing. Yeah, don't don't threaten me with a good time. I like the ones that stick their own head in the fence. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna that's what we're shooting for. I'm gonna read this one comment because I can't get them to post for some reason. But old Richie Ricardo here, he said, talking to talking to my daughter London, he said, "Youth and speed is no match for old age and treachery." Remember that, you know. There Amen. It is. That's a Amen. Good one. That's a good one. Good as a gift. Oh, that thing looks awesome, dude. You're going to be in the chicken produ production business there in a big way. That's awesome. That yeah, is that's, that's all I gold. Can on that. It's tis the year. How many chickens do you have in here? Now I've seen one since I've been here. Oh, well, I got rid of them for right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All and right. That one ran. He saw the rest of them getting grabbed and he took off. So he's still around lurking. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know what? Well, this morning I didn't hear him and I was like, mm -hmm. where the hell are all the chickens? Cause we tend the goats down too. Yeah. Cause you, yeah, way down. Cause usually in the mornings when you come out and it, you, you're stampeded by chickens. I mean, dozens of them. Yeah. It was, it was a bit much. So yeah. they're all in the freezer now then. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And they're still they're mountain freezer eggs. chickens. Mountains of eggs. All the hate on rabbits, man. You'd prefer squirrel. Ooh. Love squirrels, man. <laughs> well, That's raising it. rabbits for, for meat rabbits is a, is a, a lot of work. You know, it's it's uh, oh, man. You know, I, well, I raised it so. I like the chickens too. We're doing the deep litter method. You know, we're um, just contact with the ground. It gives them a little heat. We're building all that compost for the garden. You know, so that you, we should cut down. In theory, in theory. Uh, we should only have to clean that coop out a couple times a year. And um, so I'll keep you posted and let you know how it goes. But you keep hey. about a foot of uh, mold. Say hi, Ma. Where is she? Here? She's right there. Mom just popped Hello, in. Hello, darling. There she is. Yeah. How you doing? Got to say hi to Mom. 
Hi, Mom. Love you. <laughs> uh, Sue, how long? How much longer are you on restricted duty? Uh, I just got put on pills today, so I'm I'm supposed to do three months of that, and then uh, and then go back and do some follow up. I'm, I actually have to do some follow up uh, in three weeks, but uh, it's it's. Uh, I asked them what I'm restricted to do, and they doesn't sound like they're they're holding me back from anything. I can I can still fly, and and uh, just as long as I don't get my heart worked up too much, you know. So mm -hmm. I just got. I think yeah, I just need to stop watching the news. That's, no, you're no. If they tell you not to get your heart worked up, how the hell are you going to hang out with Emory anymore? Yeah. Well, yeah. that's that's pretty easy. I just ignore them. That's, I just turn off my hearing aids. You can do that. Turn off my hearing aids. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that'll work. Hey, can, you, can, you, can you still drink mead from the skulls of your enemies? Is that? No, I, I, I haven't. I haven't had alcohol since the Valley Fever. I mean, it's, it was a rough year for me. I was in and out of the hospital all year long, so I just. Yeah. I was just so glad to see 2023 go away. And then I woke up with chest pains Monday morning. And I was like, not again. Here we go. You know, so, uh, and, boom. and I went to J.S. Badger, the refuge yeah. medical just signed on. Well, he's got another comment in there with the link to um, Caleb House. If we can throw that on the screen for everybody, you guys can go check out um, Caleb House, which is the um, nonprofit for recovered trafficked children. Being done by yeah, Barry. Uh, by the Barry, the Barry, they yeah. would appreciate any donations you guys would like to make to fund to help get this done. There is a ruck march and a ruck march with him, a 5K ruck march in Fort Smith, Arkansas, in March. I can't remember yeah. the date, but uh, we're going to be going, um, and we're going to do the ruck with Bear to help raise money. To are you going? Huh? Nice. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about going. If I can, if I can squeeze it in there, I'd like to go. Maybe we can hook up down there. Aren't you unemployed? I am employed. I started with the. Uh, I am employed, but I've got not not the same employment that I had with the last woke liberal <laughs> shit hole that I worked for. Um, and there's the link so, to the uh, rock guys. We can get that up on the screen real quick too. JS put that up. Yeah, there yeah. There we go. The refuge ruckus. Yeah. So. Hey Pete, be a good time. Sorry. Pete Robert Tucci now. This is my good hey. friend Pete Robert Tucci. Hey, how you doing? How, how you right? doing? Oh, yeah. Go yeah. fucking guy right there. Get out of here. Forget about it. Am I taking Morgan's backpack? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> is there a weight requirement like on the ruck? Because you got to got to have that. I don't know. If, I haven't read enough to see if he's got a weight requirement or anything yet. But uh, you know, I know how to fill a bag. So right. So yeah, now let's get that off the suit face. I mean, it's, if it was a little higher, we would leave it there the rest of the night. But now nah, I see uh, we can get that off of the suit now. But yeah, guys, check out uh, Refuge Ruckus and and go to Caleb House and you know drop him some coin. Just you know five bucks makes a difference. So let's help him out. That's it. Ellie Williams, guys in the house, didn't want to derail y'all. Hey Jazz, you're not derailing, brother. This is this is how a community works, man. We're here to support each other and 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 assist when we can. And uh, you didn't derail nothing. So nope. Pete is done writing. Pete not gonna write no more books. Oh, we gotta we got well wait, we can't talk about that here. Looking forward to seeing you next month, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to get the details out of that. I got I forgot. Pete tonight. Ah, there's no details to be had. Hush. So um yeah. Anyway. And Sue, typically a, a run of penicillin is only seven to ten days. Why the hell are you taking it for three months? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just do it. The Was that Robbie Yeah. Oh, I'll just, uh, I'm just stay on the drip. Constant drip. <laughs> yeah. Drip. yeah, yeah uh, I've, drip. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like, kind of like crabs, you know, it's just, it's, if, you got, if you got them, be, be proud. Yeah. <laughs> hey, butter. I was in a bath, truck stop bathroom <laughs> once sitting there and it was like, you know, everybody's writing on the wall a stall and it said, Crabs can jump 30 feet. I was like, ah, oh, shit. Man, that wow. sucks. <laughs> that sucks. No, honey, really. They just jumped. I it had no was idea. The, it was the Love's yeah. Truck Stop crabs. Love yeah. Truck Stop crabs. They jumped 30 feet. They don't have crabs at Bucky's, man. <laughs> they, they, it's on their side. Yeah, there are no crabs at Bucky's because there's no truck drivers. No crabs. <laughs> <laughs> or a lot of lizards. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, Mr. Matt Kane. Kane. Doesn't take us long to get in the gutter. Guys. No, no man, I I <laughs> it's a short trip, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, Matt. Yeah, there's Matt King. We're gonna have um, we're gonna have John from SOE on, and I think the twenty first nice. February. He, so he's gonna be on with us. We'll be talking with him. So we've got some cool, cool folks coming up. I don't have the calendar in front of me to give you guys a rundown, but I'm looking forward to talking <laughs> to him. And we've got some other ones that we'll be doing. So um, definitely. I don't know where they're for you guys yesterday. Hey, Paul, that went bad up here. We got a little light, what, light dusting of snow. It didn't even stick. Yeah, it was gone by, like, early afternoon. Yeah, early afternoon. And uh, not that cold. And today was pretty nice. Today was actually a great day. So Yeah, it's supposed to get down to, like, 11 degrees next week. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. I was supposed, supposed to have some more on Friday. We didn't We didn't get any in Nashville. I mean, I was just down the road from you guys in Nashville, and I didn't get any snow down there. So really? I was, I was surprised about that. But what elevation there, Sue, where you are? I'm I'm sit, My house sits about 2,500 feet, which is about equivalent to Sydney, Nebraska, which we used to call Flatlanders when I lived out in Colorado. But, you know, it's uh, still high for – all these guys on the East Coast, I guess. I don't know. Protect you from the tidal wave. Yeah. James James Wadley exactly. says, Ooh, yeah. truck drivers fading back into the bushes. <laughs> yeah, 20, 2,500 feet. I'd better be under parachute if I'm skydiving, or I'd better start looking for a reserve. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. Not very high. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, uh, that's ground shoot stuff, 2,100 feet. I did ask the doctor that, though. I said, can I fly? He says, yes. And as soon as, as, soon as the doctor left, he, he says, you didn't say anything about parachuting. I said, he didn't ask. Valid <laughs> <laughs> point. So I guess you're going to be in Palatka in March then, Sue? Is that I'm, going, I'm going to try my best to, to get down there. With awesome. Them. We'll be there. We're going to come hang out. We'll be yeah. there. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun, I think. Uh, and then uh, Emery wanted to go down there and, and get all recertified and everything. And uh, uh, he's got his schedule changed, of course. So I, I, I don't know if he's going to be down there next month or, or if we'll just hang out after Platka. Do the, I'd like to do the round canopy thing just to just to say I did it. Yeah, yeah. I want to watch it, but I don't even want to attempt it. I'm not doing PLFs and all that shit. There's no way I'm going out the door. I mean, I'll film you guys jumping out like I did last time, but I, there ain't no way in hell I'm jumping out of that airplane. Carter, why not? That's, that's an easy one. That's they're down 1,200 feet on that one. That's, yeah, they're low. No, when I was filming that that jump for Carl, and I had that bailout shoot on, and the loadmaster, when the last guy went out the door, I walked over the door and I leaned out and I was filming. And he's screaming at me in the background. He's like, "Don't you do it!" He's like, "Don't you do it!" And I'm like, "I'm not going anywhere." <laughs> so much to live for. Yeah. <laughs> well, they call it their bailout shoots neck breakers. They're like, if, if this opens on you, yeah. If this opens on you, it's gonna break your neck. So. <laughs> yeah, I I I wouldn't want to open one of those things. You got. When you only Mountain Living Tim from Colorado saying hi to you. So, yeah, you only got like five. At that altitude, Colorado. At that altitude, you only have like five five seconds to open it up, Chris. So you better make. Yeah, it I know. Yeah, quick. yeah, yeah, real fast. Um, so yeah, I like to I like to jump, and me and Mel still want to go to ground school, get certified, so we can you know solo jump. Well, I miss you. Much grass. But uh, we were in uh, Texas, and we went to one of the wind tunnels, and we did that for a little while, and that was a yeah. lot of fun. I really enjoyed well, that. Well, and, and hydrate or die. On the way home, uh, we had a uh, we had a conversation about trying to convince uh, convince Alan to join our our little parachute. Group. You should jump. Yeah, with us. I, I want to come down with you guys for sure. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have my camper down there on the airport, and you can stay with us. It's just spare space in there. You can come crash with us. We hang out, and watch them. And- the when are y'all are going? going? When, when is this? What March. Month? What's the date, Sue? You know, for, for RCPT? Uh, I, I've had it on my phone. Where did I put my phone? Uh, it's March. Uh, I, I believe it's March 19th. Uh, March 19th? Okay. I need to get that on my calendar so I don't get... Uh, my, phone, my, phone, anyway. my phone died. I've, I, I haven't had a charger at the hospital. Sorry, guys. I'll, I'll get you those dates. All right. Text them to you. Right here, I'll look it up. Yeah, well, the uh, I think the main reason Carl wants to go with tactical rifle, and we'd all like to get uh, on the list anyway with Je- Jeff Hofsatter down there who runs the whole thing. And uh, we're going to try. Great guy. We're trying to get another, uh, through some other contacts of ours, we're trying to get another C 47 over to Normandy for June 6th for the 80th reunion in wow. Normandy. So, 
anybody wants to fly over on that, that's a long way to fly with no air conditioning or heating in the airplane. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a long way to ride a C-47. Yeah, Operation Sand Snake is March, looks like, 5th through the 14th. And so we will probably be out there on the weekend of like the third or not the weekend, but yeah, I guess that weekend, probably ninth and 10th, somewhere around there. Cause that's the big time. And Which you, one is that? Is that the Palatka? Or this is Palatka. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that time frame there, everybody, everybody I'd love will be to there. go to that one. If I could afford it, it's, it's awesome. There's, there's nothing, there's no cost to you. I mean, you don't even have to be a member of RCPT, but you can join them if you want. Well, I want to jump. Oh, yeah. we, we, well, that's that's you got to go through ground school. That's expensive, bro. Because I don't, yeah, I don't okay. know what ground school is. Wrong. That's expensive. I'm, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I'd like to do the jump master course this time, but I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't deal well with others, you know. Uh, I don't want to go back <laughs> to being a, being sure a master, so, yeah, but, uh, that's a, it is a great time if you if you if it is never, if you've never if you've always wondered what it's like to be a paratrooper and uh you 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 want to experience it they they do a really really professional course down there and so you will ready. see some amazing sights there yeah um yep. there are things that'll have you scratching your head but it's a lot of fun yeah and it, it is the the actual it's not skydiving it's the actual paratrooper way so you will do you will do uh some hard landings and they will teach you how to do you know feet knees uh hip yep. it, it turns out to be feet knees head half the time but uh <laughs> or or one foot and blow your femur out through your hip um <laughs> well, you know, or or guys getting drugged down the runway until their uniforms are shredded. I mean, it's, yeah, there's ones for that, you, Stu. Now, that's, that's not very yeah, Brutal. Awesome. Brutal, Will. And, um, and try not to be on the first pass because that usually <laughs> ends up being the wind dummies that go. Yeah, because the they correct from the second. The highways. Yeah. So, that's no so, fun. I'm going to be doing my first solo jump here in about a month or so. Um I've done tandem, but I haven't jumped solo yet. So I'm pretty excited about that. How are you jumping solo in a month? Well, because you just take a class one day. No, um, you don't. No, no, not, not, not static jumping, like parachuting. Normal. He's talking, he's, he's, he's talking about off. the accelerated free fall course. Yeah. And you, you can do it. You can do it in one day. Yeah. Yeah. That's my buddy. Are you licensed or are you just doing no, no, one? No, no. My, my buddy, one of my really good friends, I taught him how to shoot, helped him get set up with his pistol. So he's going to pay for my whole deal. And you do like a six hour class. And then you jump that day out at, uh, out by Cricket's place. That's, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Zephyr Hill. Uh, yeah, Zephyr Hill. So I'm going to go out there and, and do my own first solo jump, which I'm pretty excited about. You know, I've done tandem, but it's not quite the same. No. Nah. Um, you, well, we you'll, still, gonna, you'll still have two people holding on to you while you're yeah well that's fine i i appreciate the two people holding on just making sure <laughs> that I, I pull and release you know it's kind of serious business but uh I, i'm just excited to do my first jump other than you know i jumped with the golden knights in 2000 which was an honor but it was tandem so it's not the same that's training wheels so does does art do that uh accelerated free fall thing you can do in one day does he do that kind of thing there in uh, yeah yeah, yeah, they 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 got some some guys that will, will do that for you out there. Yeah, oh. that's what that's what that's what Emory did. And you usually usually get about jump seven or eight before they they let you know you don't have a coach actually yeah. holding on to you. You do everything yourself. <laughs> so so hmm. uh, interesting. Once once you once you get about jump ten, then uh, they start letting you just you know a, a coach usually just follows you and you just do your own thing. Ten 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 jumps. Yeah. Hmm. So. Well, I know Mel's dying to get that solo ticket. So, um, yeah, the solos. If you want to, guys want to come and do it when I do it, man, that'd be super cool. We could plan it out. I don't have a set date for it, but I've only I only work with one jump zone or drop zone, and that's Palaka, man, because the guy that owns it is is a friend now. And and uh, okay. how many how many jumps does Art have? Thirteen thousand or something like that. Well, then all them dudes out at Zephyr Hills got like ten thousands of jumps behind them. I mean, I not like Art. They, no one's ever. None of those guys at Zephyr Hills have ever jumped a Zodiac out of the back of a C-130. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if if you guys really get into it, you'll notice that the guys that run the USPA or the United States Parachute Association, 
they're they're all the old uh, kind of kind of burnout hippies from the yeah. 60s. Oh, they're 70s. all hippies, dude. They're, they're, so they're, they're all they're, they're all are. crazy. And these guys have got thousands and thousands of junk, you know. And uh, it's just uh, it always so blows my mind how these guys. Now they've taken it over with an organization called you know United States Parachute Association, and these guys are all into safety. And I was like, wait a minute, back in the '80s when I was first getting into this, you guys really didn't give a damn. You know, so yeah. hey, back in the day. It's, it's changed completely. So yeah, the parachute crew they're a, they're a, an interesting group of people, man. The one they basically that bunch of them got trailers. They live there. They have a bar there on on the jump zone, dude, and it's like the nicest coolest people ever but they're all characters hey d4 thank you for that comment i'm glad you're enjoying the books man i'll, I'll try to keep them coming that's that's very nice thank you sir or ma'am i'm not sure what d4 stands for so <laughs> we don't want to gender and associate that's sad nah. i'm not that worried uh if you're jumping out of a plane with a boat, you know some stuff. Yeah, yeah. He was testing. He was proving the concept. So Art jumped with the Zodiac in in a in a big like drum sort of a thing. It was massive. The video of it is it's spectacular. And another dude jumped with the outboard um, to prove that SF could actually halo with this shit and and get it to the ground and use it. Yeah, he, we, did, he, he developed all their all their rigging and stuff too, all the shoots and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Art did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, art was part of it. Yeah, they did. They did uh, some. I was one, the first class, and this is clear back in 1984. I was when we were doing uh, skydiving or halo, as they call it. Uh, we were still jumping with round canopies. You know, the, the round canopies that you jump at uh, the round canopy parachute club now is called the SF10, which is what the force, uh, you know, the, the, the smoke jumpers and the forest service use and everything like that. Yeah, they're, per they're pretty stirable. They really are. And uh, in 1984, that's where I started out in Halo School at Fort Bragg with, and we were the class that transitioned to the square canopy, which back then was called the, uh, uh, it was called the, the, the R4 double S, I think it was. And uh, we, we had to pack our all of our own parachutes and everything. And uh, the problem with doing it at Fort Bragg was the weather. We did it in November, December. You have to get 18 jumps to graduate. And we were, we were chasing weather. Uh, in, yeah. in early December to get our 18th jump, and they've moved it all out to Yuma now, and it's—I mean, it's just exploded. The, the the technology behind the parachuting and it's it's mm -hmm. and and on both sides, the military and civilian, it's gotten it's gotten pretty safe. I mean, it's uh it's something that uh, if if you pay attention and you, you you learn the winds and you learn how to use your equipment and everything, it's uh it's it's very rare for somebody to get hurt or seriously injured or killed doing parachuting. Yeah, no, it still happens, but you know, yeah. it's it's, yeah. it's something it's something that's that's has progressed to where you know you just rarely see it somebody getting killed. Especially with the, the modern shoots and the fact that you can be unconscious and it'll open your shoot for you. That's they right. Say it's safer than driving a car. Yeah, yeah. When you when you think when you think about the ratio of people skydiving versus people on the road, it, the ratio is is actually safer than driving down the highway. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. We did just have a guy recently in in Deland, which is just east of my house, a lawn dart in, um, and I never did hear the investigation of what happened. But on the news, looking at it, he didn't even have a canopy out of his out of his uh, shoot. He, he he just straight lawn darted into the dirt. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, and it probably he probably wasn't aware. It's recommended that you wear an automatic opening device or what's called the AED. Yeah. And uh, yep. he, if he didn't have one on, then it, there's nothing going to save him if he's unconscious and, and free. Yeah, I sure shit going to ask for one when I jump. <laughs> oh, you will. You, you all students have to have one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That stuff gets expensive. I mean, a, a a shoot rig is like seventeen grand. You know, for a for a new good one. Is it yeah, br brand new? You can go up that high. I started out. I bought mine used. That that you know, mine's the American flag that everybody likes so much. And uh, I had the crappiest container forever. And then I had but to buy an AED. Yeah, ah! so I, I I probably got you know with conglomeration and everything. I probably got uh, six grand into my shoot now. So yeah, and I don't know how many jumps it's got on it, mm -hmm. but it gets inspected and. uh you can't you can't pack your own reserve. You got to every six months you got to have a, a, a USPA uh, D license holder rigger qualified guy pack your reserve for you. 
So I, I'll tell you at RCPT, what's cool is watching the riggers work. Cause yeah. Yeah. when they, when they drop a stick and, and those guys bring their gear back and, and, and dump it at the riggers feet, those guys are like machines. I mean, it's yeah, amazing it's, watching. It's hard work. It's hard work. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, and then, and then if you do the static line too, they, you know, the jump masters are trained. That's most mainly what the jump masters are trained on is doing it safely. So they, they do your, your pre-checks and everything before you get on there. Every, every jumper has to go through and uh, you know, at least one person checks everything. And then when you get on the plane, you get checked again, you know, as the same thing going down there and everything they, they do the buddy checks and everything. And he's, Make sure your static line is hooked up cor correctly, and he he makes sure that uh, that pack tray, that tie on the pack tray is on, in the right place, and things like that. So they've they've really got that down to a T too, as far as safety goes. You know? Yeah. And as if you even if you mess up totally and you, and you, know, you don't remember, you know, to steer back into the wind, and you're running with the wind. If you put your feet and knees together and you just kind of relax when you hit the ground, you, you'll, you'll come out of it okay. You might get a little bruised up, but you usually come out of it pretty you know, okay. You know, not not too many not too many uh, uh, brain surgeries like I've had. <laughs> <laughs> brain surgery. Brain surgery. That's, that's, from that's, a nice, that's a nice way of saying lobotomy, Sue. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, just trust Sue. Trust trust what Sue tells you. Just do it. Do what Sue says. Yeah, yeah. Let me give you. Let me give you some marriage counseling too. I'm on wife what number five now. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to stop marrying housekeepers. You for one woman. You need to stop marrying okay. housekeepers. We got together, Sue, and you just jumped with uh, that young man's name. Who uh, I guess you had to cut away with. It was his first jump. Uh, JP Cherry, yeah, JP yeah. Cherry, yeah, he come, he, he went down with us. Poor to, uh, guy. My my son, my son and I, we we get it together uh, once once or twice a year. We just skydive Atlanta, and he said, "Oh, I want to do a tandem. I want to do a tandem." So I was up there with him and everything, and I was I was asking him, "Are you scared?" He's like, "No, no, no, no problem, no problem." And the tandems usually go last, so I went you know, went out before he did, and I got on the ground. I was looking for him. I was looking for him. I was like. Where's and I saw one tandem guy land, but it wasn't him. And I was like, "Where's the other tandem rig?" And I was like, "Oh, they had a cutaway." And I was like, "Oh my god, that's his first jump ever!" You okay. gotta be kidding me! <laughs> so I made I, I made him buy a log book and go back to that tandem that tandem instructor and get everything recorded. You know, because yeah, for a cutaway, yeah, you want to get that on record. What's the chance? Yeah, what's the chance of that one? Yeah, so that'll make you know. your pucker pucker right there. You. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be my luck. First time out the out the door. Well, I, I sent you guys videos when I was going to that funeral in Seattle, and the, my my friend Kerry Bouse. Now he was he was going through the jump master course, like at, at Round Canopy Parachute Club down there. You know where they in the military. He was at Fifth Group Fort Campbell, and uh, he was a hung jumper uh, it, during his course. He jumped out of the plane, and the static line did not release the parachute, so he just slammed against the skin of the c-130 until it knocked him out yeah oh, and they just said well this guy's knocked out we're just gonna land the airplane you know and luckily he didn't drag too far on the airstrip oh and uh oh, yeah he was he was fine i mean uh he, he was he, he was a little banged up but he you know he didn't have a concussion or anything so they said well get back up there and do it again or you're gonna get scared of it so he he jumped one more time and then he had one more jump to 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 finish his jump master course and uh he jumped out and his main canopy didn't open up and he had to pull a res his reserve. Uh, oh shit. Call <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The so, dog didn't like it. No. I think my son. Holy did. hell. But, uh, fast forward 20 years now. We have a we have a buddy we I passed away in Seattle and I call him up and say, Well, we gotta we gotta pay this guy our, you know, his last respects. We gotta go up and and bury bury our, our friend Josh Rouse and, and he's He's like, well, uh, I got to drive up because I don't get on a plane no more. And I said, I know that. I'll pick you up in Oklahoma. And uh, yeah. I, drove, I drove all the way to Oklahoma, picked him up. And, I, uh, you know, I got there at 10 o'clock at night. And I said, hey, I'm, I'm pulling into your driveway. Be ready to drive, you know, and grab me a cup of coffee and we'll, we'll keep going. He goes, oh, I don't drive at night either. Just just plan on spending the night. And I was like, oh, this is going to be a long trip. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't drive at night. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Yeah, that would suck. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't even get on airplane anymore. So he's done with that. Oh, 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 oh. You bumped? Not yet. No, maybe later I might do one. They're very good though. What do you eat? What, what's Alan showing off now? Is he got? I don't he, know. He, he went. He I went can't. back to his canning. He, he went back to his pantry, didn't he? Grab some of his. Yeah, he did. I'm hungry. He got got him a pickled egg. He's mm. an egg sucking some S O B. Good. They are good. They're damn good. They've got turmeric in right there. They're, turmeric, yeah. they're amazing. They're so good. <laughs> hey, mm. hey, Chris. We should yeah. we should get um our boy from Ranger Proof Swag on, Andy. Oh yeah, I could get Andy on one time. I'll call Andy. If, if I gotta look at the schedule. Me Sarge. I mean, they're meeting. Me, yeah, that's 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 pretty much dude, Sarge. Dude, did I did I call that? Oh, you did. You you nailed it. And like, no, you don't even know. We ran a class at my house, and Andy Bell came out as the instructor. And uh, about three hours in, I was like, I'll be losing my house over this. There's, there's somebody's gonna die here, and I'm gonna get shot. I'm gonna lose this gay because. He would stand in front of a student with a target behind him. Student has their weapon holstered, and he's like, I'm preparing to attack you. He's like, when I attack you, I want you to draw your weapon and shoot the target. And then he's like, don't worry, I won't be there when it happens. But I'm going to attack you. He's like, and I'm going to attack you for real. We had people, yeah. we had women crying. And we, I mean, dude, it was it was yeah. intense. Rebecca, it was, Rebecca was on the ground. But Andy <laughs> Bell is 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 Sarge. Yeah. He will, he will tell you to go F yourself. Mm -hmm. What a what a sob you are! Like, yeah, he with the biggest heart of gold. Like I mean, he's Sarge, dude. He is totally Sarge. Well, we should get him on. He'd be a hoot to get on this. Yeah, because he some of his stories. I'd like I'd like him to get oh, yeah. to tell his Russian officer story. Oh on God, here. that that's such hey, a good one. He's old school Army Ranger and and kind of a legend in the Ranger community. Yeah, he is. He's like seventies yeah. and and early eighties back when the Cold War was going on. So. I'm not going to attempt to tell his story, but let me, it, it, it's awesome. Oh, Zig wants an egg recipe. You got to ask Alan's egg. That's not me. It's, uh, so this is like turmeric and um, garlic and onion, peppercorn. Yeah, there's, there's onion in there, stuff like that. Yeah, I like it. It's good. It'll make a jackrabbit slap a grizzly bear, man. It's really good. It will. After, you know, <laughs> Well, this is amazing. I love those eggs that they make up here. And so I come up and I eat a bunch of them. And he's always eating mm. them. So after about two days of me being here, this house smells funny. Mm. Is it good for your libido? Good thing we're not, eating, we're not no. drinking beer, you know, on top of those. Because, you know, oh, oh. Like that. Oh, oh. Uh, so. mm -mm. Uh. Well, it's an interesting start to the year. I'm curious to see how this all plays out. It's going to be uh, crazy. Man. Man. So. I mean, the election with them trying to take Trump off the ballot in multiple states. Wow. Yeah, that was hey, what so, a train Chris, wreck. I think the link to that new, that kind of quasi documentary where they go through the January 6th. Yeah, I was going to say, don't stay the date, but whatever. No oh, matter. Oh, 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 you get dinged by Facebook or YouTube for that. Oh. Which that's the world we live in, right? 1984. They're, we we can they're new speak and they control. Well, the you guys, you guys were all busy. I mean, I was sitting there waiting for the doctor to release me at the hospital. Did you guys saw? Did you guys see Chris Christie pull out of the election tonight? Did anybody watch yeah. that speech? Yeah, the Babylon B put out a thing that said Chris Christie withdraws withdraws his yeah. candidacy to spend more time with but a did, family bucket from KFC. At the yeah, did, the did you did you did you watch his speech? It was horrible. All yeah. he did, all he did was bow down to Trump the whole time. Yeah. And, and that's all he's got. He's a man. Yeah, what's, what's changed? Like, Good night, Ma. Ma's going to bed. And, that's, right. and I was like, right. that's why you have 2% of the vote is because, you know, Chris, guys like Chris Christie are the old Republican, you know, the rhinos of the Republican Party. They just don't, oh, yeah. they, they, they don't want the establishment to change. They want, they want that, 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 that sugar money coming in all yeah. the time. Yeah, they don't want yeah. they don't want the establishment to change at all. We got to get rid of those guys, you know. So I'm yeah, glad to see him go. You know, Mitch, Mitch yeah. McConnell. Good Mitch rinse. McConnell needs to be done. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure on Mitch. Did you go get another? You get another flavor it's a there? Is flavor. Yeah, this guy here's got like tarragon. On oh, there is a black <laughs> pepper, and that's the last one. <laughs> you know, one. Yeah, yeah. I split it with you. Give me I feel like I'm watching a rerun of Cool Hand Luke. I'm afraid of you. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Hey, Chris, like what's going on, Luke? A rerun of Cool uh, Hand Luke. Look at that. Cool Hand Luke. Blowed it all up. 
Chris, what do you Why think? Why are you about so good to me, boss? <laughs> Taking the bus, boss. Taking the bus. That was a great movie. Yeah. We should watch that. We should watch that. to communicate. You ever seen that movie Life Sue with uh, was it Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence? That was funny. That, that is a hilarious. One. Movie. That's one of the greatest prison movies ever. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, what do you think about Nikki Haley? Yeah, that's good. It is good. She don't stand a chance. No. Nope. And <laughs> I don't like anything she has to say. Yeah, and she's kind of a part of the uh, establishment. She's just a bigger part. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, she's part of the problem. Yeah, yeah, she's part of the problem. I, I tell you, it's uh, going to be crazy, dude. I don't know what they're going to do with Biden because they're already talking about Biden dropping out, dropping out of the race in March or April because of health reasons. Um, who are they going to bring in? What do you think, Michelle Obama? Michelle Obama. They've already, they've already, she's already, she's already been on a couple of interviews where she's like, yep. "Oh, I'm, uh, I'm worried about one. this, and I'm worried about you that." Think, so, you think that uh, guy stands a chance, Michelle, <laughs> Michelle Obama? I don't. That's not what you did there. Yes, yes. Uh, you man. cheeky bastard. You guys still going down that theory? I, I was looking. I was like, "There's no way that's a dude. There's no way." <laughs> All right. I don't know. <laughs> did you? Hey, did you all see that movie? Um, what was the name of it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <under Yeah>. <laughs> got his toe stuck, stuck in, in the bottle. bottle. That what was, he's standing on the bottle. That was funny. <laughs> oh God! You got to go watch that movie, <laughs> Life Sue. You too, yeah. D. You guys Life. need to. Yeah, it's hilarious. Okay. Check it out. Yeah. With Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Eddie Murphy oh, and Martin Lawrence. The movie the Obamas produced that was on Netflix. Were, uh, were leave the world behind. Yeah. Oh, that was, was horrible. Weird. That was that was the dumbest. Oh, movie it's depressing. That was depressing. Yeah, that was the dumbest movie I watched in 2023. I was like, all right, I'm glad this is over. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure you guys picked up on the messaging in the movie, correct? Of course. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm looking forward to Civil War USA. Uh, have you guys seen the trailer for that one yet? Yeah. What yes, kind of American I, are you? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. coming out in March, isn't it? Uh huh. Now, yeah. In the movie, if you guys have seen the trailers and stuff, who do you what what party do you believe is holding the White House? Oh, they'll probably choose the Republican. I hear it's it's leaning way left. That, that oh, way. it's a left leaning movie because they're yeah, gonna have think... they're, they're gonna have a Republican in office, essentially emulating Trump. And oh, then and then man. nineteen states want to succeed and get away from him, and then they end up fighting back, and they end up overthrowing the federal government. Texas and Florida, Texas or California and Texas. Like that would ever happen under like what what kind of mushrooms were they eating to come up with that concept? You better have an F-15. Yeah. 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 Here it comes. Yeah. It, dude, it's you know it's so crazy, Chris. Like when I was when I said that that name date we should not mention ever. You're yeah. right. I should have thought it's just really. I mean, that's really a statement right there. Of the world that we live in, yeah, 1984. Okay. We're we're living 1984. It, 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 right now. You're right, it, absolutely, and uh, it's just crazy. It just I hate it, you know. And I have to do the same thing, you know. I'm I'm a big YouTube guy on the audio video world and all that, and I have to be really really careful of what I say on that because you know we reach tens of thousands of people, and I, I just hate it. What you are you saying? We got no reach and. No, 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 I'm just saying we can't. <laughs> we don't yet. <laughs> You're such a prick. We got 12 followers. It's cool. No, but we, we it's just that 12 followers. Hey, it's just a my whole life. Uh, being an American, I always felt like I could speak my mind. And now I have to really watch what I say all the time on social media and everything, which is really hard for me, as you know. And, all I'm going to say is Jesus had 12 followers too. Um, uh, Zig, <laughs> it's too It's too <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Look how hey, big he got. Yeah, you're, you're kind of holy <laughs> quality over quantity. Zig, I'm, and, for, and for those wondering on the TV front, we're present. I'm presently waiting on some lawyers to get a contract wrapped up that will then give us freedom of movement. I'm, I'm, I'll leave it at that. So I, I'm. Just, I, it's just insane. I'm. I'm. None of us are really built for this modern age. All all the gentlemen here, um, and. We're just not built for this. I I I tend to agree with you. I'm I'm I'm. I think the thing that you, you guys mentioned what concerns you most, what concerns me most, is this uh, what do they call it, the Z generation. You know, my yeah. my, uh, well, my kids teenage are. kids or kids yeah. younger than that. I'm just like, uh, 
uh, they were talking about it on the news this morning, how these guys go to work and they, 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 they show up late and they, they actually like, what, what's the big deal? That kind of thing. And I was just like, yeah. what is going, what they is asked going me on to trim here? my beard shorter at my job and not too many words. That's how yeah. they, yeah, I had to give yeah. them the finger. Well, yeah. And if, it, if, if you offend them, they get all upset. Like you've, 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 you've attacked their character or you know, they, they need to, they need to go, they need to go get some therapy or something. I'm just like, so we, we, we flew into Missouri for a, like a group meeting, you know, a company meeting and all that. And all my coworkers were horrified that I brought my pistol with me. <laughs> you brought your gun. <gasps> oh, I'm like, dude, I never go anywhere without my gun. That you might have been horrified if you didn't have one. I mean, like, you showed up here without a piece. The hell's wrong with you? Yeah, no. And uh, <laughs> especially New Orleans. So yeah, I think I, it was <laughs> Anthony Folds up here talking about Poland got taken over. That's not what's going on in Poland, guys. Yeah, there's a little bit of political infighting, but there's no coup going on. No. They're using inflammatory language in Poland, just like they are here. Two guys are being put in jail. They were convicted, whatever, and they were jailed. And uh, and that's what this is about. There's no coup. When you say coup, that means there's 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 usually lead being traded, and that is not the case in Poland. So I, I kind of take offense to people calling what's going on in Poland right now a coup. Um, it is off-putting. It's it's a very bad taste. It, it's not a good look for anybody, not Brian. It's not a good look for anybody. Uh, I don't care who you are, but uh, but it's not a coup. So, but it is worth watching what is taking place in Poland right now. I would suggest that. To everybody. Well, and uh, and just just to kind of uh, be the devil's advocate there, I was just there in November and early December in Poland, and uh, what surprised me the most was, you know, uh, it reminded me of going to Russia after the wall came down. I mean, these guys have been supposedly in a democratic country for 30, 40 years, but they still got the Soviet mentality and the yeah. Soviet architecture everywhere. I mean, these, yeah. these it's like... Everywhere you go in Poland, people are watching you. We used to call them the little babushka, which means grandmother in Russia. Yep. But you can be in the you can be in the grocery store picking up some groceries, and you got this old lady looking down there and just spying on you and watching your every movement. You know, <laughs> at first, at first, I thought, well, I wonder if she just, I wonder if I'm dressed too Western if I look American or something. But then I noticed that she's watching everybody the same way. You know, she just. She works for the store and she's making sure nobody's yeah. feeling stuff or doing whatever. And everybody's watching everybody over there. And I was like, hey, you guys got to, you guys got to let go of this. The old Soviet, the, the old Soviet mentality, the communist yeah. mentality. And it was, it was the same way in Ukraine. I mean, they say they're democratic, but they're, or they say they're, they're not democratic. democratic. They're, 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 they're Soviet yeah. version of democratic. democratic. No, no, they're not, they're not even close to that. They're, they're not even close to a republic. They're, no, they're no. still. They're they're just first generation out of Soviet, out of Soviet uh, rule, I guess. But they they still like they still like to live like you know they're they're watching each other all the time. They just I hope I hope this country never gets to that where you, you know you got to watch your. It's like living in an HOA. I wouldn't want to be ever in ever again in an HOA where one person no. watches everybody in the neighborhood. You know? no. No. Now that'd be bad for their health for me living there. Will. Um, I've heard some stuff about the Florida State Militia in the past, and then I'm going to be February 8th. I will be at the Florida Capitol, the state capitol. I will be sitting through a session of the Florida House, uh, and then I will be meeting with a bunch of those guys afterwards. And so I'll do. I'll ask some questions and do some poking around. Well, and uh, you, you know that Pierce is part of that new group in Florida. Pierce what, group? what group? What uh, group? Supplement to the Florida National Guard. Well, that's, that's the militia. Yeah, the state. Yeah, um, because the he, DeSantis they're unarmed. They're unarmed. Yeah. they're unarmed. The ones that yeah. he's. So, you know, T. I don't really know you, but I've heard a lot about you. I know Sue, and I know Alan, and I know Chris. And you know, the odd part about all this is that every all the gentlemen here, and I use that term loosely, very um, would would appreciate it. You know, give you the fucking shirt off their back would do anything to help a friend mm -hmm. would do anything. If, if a cop was lying in a ditch to help them and, and, and we're being, you know, turned in and manipulated into something we're not. And that that's the hardest part about all this. And, and I'm sure I know a lot of the people that are commenting here pretty well, and they're the same way. And it, it's just preposterous, dude. And, and it's so obvious, just like, 
the day that sh- not, shall not be named and the videos on that. Yeah. But yet, you know, when you when you're when you control the media, you control the world. And, and it's, well, it's absolutely like, that's and that's why ham radio is well, very yeah. important. Yeah, it's not just it's not just the media. It's when you control the mindset of the younger Every, generation. The mindset, I mean, correct. the schools. And my, and my father, my father had a saying. He goes, "Beware of the government." You know, beware of the government giving you everything, or, or if you think the government can give give you everything and give you prosperity and happiness, go go look at the Indian reservation. You know? Yeah, and he's exactly yeah. right. And what they're doing is they're taking our kids not only their self esteem. But the ambition, the indoctrination in the education system and on the social media and the media, they're just taking everybody's self-esteem and ambition and, uh, you know, individualism away. And they're like, well, the, we, we all got to agree with the group or then I'm nothing. Then you I, can't. Then I don't, you, you can't. You got to watch your P's and Q's. Yeah, Otherwise, you're evil out. in society. And, and I have way more depth and way more interest than, you know, this particular group thing that we do and so does chris and so does alan and and you really know, he does and so that's what i do this is what i do this is yeah but it's not me you have other interests and yes. other things that you're into yeah. you know you love art and you love music and you love all these different things we're no different no but it's 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 a travesty um that we have to be put in this position now and I, I, I frankly, I just want to explode sometimes because it's just preposterous trying to talk to my 16 year old kid. Thank God she's intelligent. Um, and at least her mom backs me up on that. You know what I mean? But it, it's it's absolutely insane, dude. I, Tim, I, Timothy, thank you for that. And I appreciate that. He says just watching this 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 live event gets you on a list. <laughs> you are pretty much. <laughs> We're all on this. Everybody here. Is Congratulations. We're doing right. We're doing so you hear right. that clicking noise on your phone? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I agree. I agree with all that. The bad part is, is that it's been, you know, control of the media, control of the school system. That's That's been forever and a day now. It was just more subtle. You know, what I'm looking for is, is when you see that control of currency and that goes digital, that's when you're going to see real control of the population. And that's coming, folks. I mean, yeah, so what, what the, what's the deficit up to? What was oh, it, 37 know. trillion? It, it? it was up there, 30, yeah. 32, 32 billion or 32 yeah, trillion. Can't trillion. even write that. Okay. All right. Trillion. There's 32 trillion of the official de- deficit with 200 trillion in unfunded liabilities behind it. So it's actually $232 trillion. That is mathematically unsustainable. Um, yes. I would make a flight to and go. We're still forward. printing it. We're it's still printing it. Dollars, the international currency of choice, we can sustain that. But you know, with this, with the, the way events are going, if we lose that, not that we are anytime soon, but if that changes with this new group with India and Russia and China and and, the, and, and these different groups, so I mean, we're we're in um, we're in a transitional period for humanity, in my opinion. well, and, and that's mm-hmm. what we need. We need we need a leader. We need not just the president. We we need a Congress. We need a Congress to go back to following the Constitution. Good luck. Because our forefathers thought of it very hard. And (laughs) we weren't on, we were on a gold and silver standard until 1972. And the only thing that took it off, took us off of that gold standard was an executive order. It takes one executive order to put us back on the constitutional gold and silver standard. And then our currency is stronger than everybody else's in the world. So why is it so hard to go back to to this day? It's because it scares all those billionaires. And that's what the billionaires don't want you to, to admit is what, what, what makes their wealth is really nothing. It's really because of the strangle grip the fed has on this country. Yeah. Do you guys think we're going to go, go to war with China formally? Yeah. Alice over here. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't track any of this horse. It don't matter. I I don't like sheep. Yeah. I don't yeah, keep up with politics. You guys think we're going to get in a hot war with China? China? Like the best I thing. So they, they already own everything, everything here. I mean, you know, you know, I don't foresee it. You know, why are we going to go to? You know, China doesn't want to blow up everything they already own. You don't think they will? <laughs> yeah. Well, we've been going for a little hour, a little over an hour. There is going to be no uh, uh, on the rocks tonight, guys, and which makes me sad because I don't get to hear our awesome voiceover guy uh, on the, on the ad for that. But, uh, Sue, do something for us. I'll say it right. 
We the people are pissed off. <laughs> he does all our little ads. It's it's lovely, it. lovely. It's so good. It's so silky smooth. It almost gives me a chubby when I hear it. You know, hey, I mean, Chris, do you oh, think yeah. there's, there's three letter people watching each podcast? Fuck yeah, there's three letter people watching this podcast. Oh, yeah, hey, it's three letter people recording Don, this podcast. Don, what are you talking about? Hey, Don, Don, watch if, if you if you're gonna be on a list, try to get to the top. That's the that's the key. You know? I'm on plenty of list. Trust me. Yeah. Mark yeah. Peace. Let's throw that up on the screen real quick. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm in D.C. I walked over to the the White House. Someone lost a glove. On behalf of all of us, I put it on the fence and left the glove in the appropriate position with the middle finger pointing, saluting the White House. <laughs> awesome, Mark. Very well played, sir. We applaud you. Well done, sir. We well applaud done. you. Well done. <laughs> oh my God, that's all. Awesome. I can't that's believe so that man walked out of that hearing today. That was that was just like I yeah. can do America. I, I, I can do I can do what I want. My daddy gives me everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you see the video of him going to the White House? He's not supposed to go there. They got a video yeah. of him getting out of um, the chopper. Can you can you imagine how many times he said to people, "Do you know who my dad is?" Like Hunter Biden. <laughs> I, uh, I I, <laughs> you know, I've said for years, man. It's, yeah, yeah. I just don't follow any of this. I really don't. I, I'll tell you what I tell my kids: there's only one thing in the world you have any control over, and that is you. Yep. So That's fix right. yourself. Fix your stuff. Quit worrying about Fix who's in the stuff. damn White House. I don't care if they put Martha Stewart in there. I'm gonna still do what I do. I don't she follow any of this political shit. Do a good job. Political theater. I don't care. Damn sure political theater. I'm a, I'm gonna be bread, the best me I can circus. be, man. That's all you can do. Bread and circus. That's it. That's it. That's it. And I think on that we're gonna call it a night, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with us for the first one of the year, Sue. I'm glad you're out of the hospital, bro. Um, I, I hope that penicillin takes and does what it's supposed to. T. Yeah, me, bro. Need to see what'd you say, Sue? I said me too. I just, I Sue, you're a goddamn American treasure. We fucking yeah, he, is. You. he really is. Yeah. Yeah. He's, He's one, one of my heroes world. and he doesn't even know it. Yeah. He don't even know it. Yeah. I got a little shrine in the real life. I, I wouldn't say had. treasure, but I'd say like a cold cereal, like Fruit Loops or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna say if you're gonna call yourself a treasure, you know, we gotta bury treasure. So I mean, you know, <laughs> that's true. Uh, yeah, don't fuck. bury me yet. <laughs> T, we need to get together soon, man. We got to do some talking too about things. So uh, I don't know when yes. I'll have time for that, but here in the near future, me and you need to have a have a powwow. So yes, for do. sure, we on a couple things. things. Yeah, on a couple especially things. on your designs of things. That's the thing I'm yeah. talking about. Hey, I was uh, I showed that around to a few dudes today, and every one of them that saw it said, "I want one of these as soon as it's available." Oh, the blade. Yeah, Donnie knows the blade. Yeah, we are. We've hey, got everything we talking about this blade. Yeah, we are all did ready to say, go. Did that say Tony on it? Can you hold it back up closer to the camera? Did it say Tony on it someplace? No, it didn't. Okay. It's got your angry American and it says it's got DM on my logo on it. Okay. However, that one there looks to have never lopped off a goat's head. Well, I got it. From I don't other think that one has. I traded a shiny one for that one. Uh, it could. I tell you what, this mf -er is a beast, dude. Have you? Have well, you Alan, Alan knows is. I'm in. If you guys want to do this meeting, Alan knows I'm in the middle. He knows where I live. Let's all just meet here. I'm I'm available the next couple of days. Where you at? You're in Tennessee, right? No, oh, I'm, Georgia. I'm in North Carolina, North, but between Carolina. between Alan and and T. So. Yeah, yeah. North Cackalacky Hills. I'll, I'll make the drive. I love NC. Sam there says, 1893, Benjamin Harrison was the last bearded U.S. president. Time for a change. Angry America. That would never happen. They would off my ass with the... Oh, it'd, be worse, it'd be worse than because Trump. I, I, would, I would go back to old school politics. I would walk into the house with a cane and smack fuckers in the mouth for saying things about me. I, that, that We would reestablish the ability. Challenge, the challenge them to a duel. <laughs> yes. I would, we need to bring dueling. I have 100%. Yeah, you don't want to challenge oh, yeah, them. For sure. Duel. I, I would walk, I would walk out of house and set a case of dueling pistols down and open them and say, "Choose your weapon." Pistols. I would use pistols. Yeah, well, then blades, blades. I, I'd say swords. Find, close with, and destroy. Blades. 
What a neat That's why I love you, Alan K. Yeah. When you're going to get on to uh to sign on for that vice presidency, though. Is Alan willing to do that? Oh, would, would he be vice president? Fuck no, I wouldn't yeah. be in politics. Uh, Come on, I, I, I think of that. No. I mean, it's only fitting. But, but he would be chief of staff. Absolutely. Chief of staff. Yeah, chief of staff. Yeah. Can, you, oh, yeah. Imagine, yeah, you, can you imagine that? That administration with all of us fuckers in it, to and shit. I'd have I'd have Carl mm-hmm. Erickson as, as as defense secretary. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don no, Neal. I created. I created I, I, okay, then I want to be the assistant uh, defense secretary because I want to walk around that five sided wind tunnel and just go at all those civilians, those GS workers and SESs, and say, "You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired." Thirty five percent of the federal workforce is in the Department of Defense, and they never go to war. That We need to get yeah. rid of them. We need to just get rid of half of them right now. Nobody ever noticed they were gone. Yeah, yeah. That I was did. thinking you'd make a fine, uh, like like uh, DHS secretary, and, uh, you know, you'd secure <laughs> our borders properly. No, I just want to be the cut man. I want, I want to hand out the pink slips. No, we don't need this. No. I want to be the cut man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Director of Human Resources. Director of Human Resources. <laughs> you're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Sue's Su- Su- first day in office, he-, he goes online and orders a big stamp that just says you're fired. You know, and it like, fired. Yeah. Rejected. Rejected. One in each hand. <laughs> stamp in each hand. Double, double time timing on it. Yes. Sue's so walking, so walking the halls of Congress, the Pentagon, and the White House, just hitting people in the forehead with it. <laughs> I'd start out, I'd start out with Lloyd Austin. I mean. Think about it. That guy is the Secretary of Defense right now. He he was an officer, four star mm-hmm. general. He's a I cut. met the man, you know, or I didn't really meet him. I, I listened to you know some of his garbage coming out of his mouth in Iraq. I was like, this guy's an idiot. So he he got there. He got that four star, you know, affirmative action. Let's be correct on that. Yeah, he got. But how many how many sergeants woke up with a hangover or had the flu or something and? We're four or six hours late reporting in, and he gave them an Article 15 when he was a lieutenant or a captain yeah. or a major or a colonel. And this guy disappears for 10 days? I'm sorry. You're Sue, Sue, resigned. Firing you're him. You're no, 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 no. There's, there's a much bigger play for him, personally. Uh, he would be charged with treason and immediately arrested for aiding and abetting the enemy um, when he gave information to China, telling them that, he would call them first if Trump was going to do anything. When he no, started. that was that was his understudy, Mark Milley. Now he's he. Oh, Milley, that was Milley. That's right. Yeah, that's we true. need to bring him back. We need to bring him back and give him a court martial and send him to Leavenworth as a private and take away his retirement. Now, yeah. how does how does Mark Milley end up being worth five hundred million dollars? You you can't do that in the military. I know the pay scale. You can't do that. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah. Oh, there's a way. Oh, there is a way. And, and Mark found it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and Mark Milley knows it. Yeah. They fucking nailed it, bro. Nailed it. All right, guys. That's it for me. I'm tired and not feeling super hot. So we're going to call it a uh, bring back Chesty, Chesty Puller. Puller. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 He sort some shit out. Chesty Puller. Damn. Yeah. That's reaching. Yeah. I would take Chesty. Mm-hmm. I love a good Marine. So I was, I was checking. They have a whole thing on him at the, uh, the World War II Museum in New Orleans. And by the way, if you've never best, been to best the World museum War II, in the world, yes. It is six buildings now. You have lot two days to see it. And if you don't leave there in tears, I don't want to know you because I I that is the most beautiful and amazing tribute and museum I've ever been to. They're building a whole nother block onto it now, too. And they got a new uh, submarine thing that wasn't open when I was there. So Great food, great city, but man, I'm telling you, the World War II Museum. Before, before Katrina, Katrina, it was one building, and after Katrina, that's the best thing that happened in New Orleans. They they really did. Oh yeah, museum right. It's big. <clears throat> oh, it's, it's like two blocks. It's it's did insane. You go when you were down there? Yeah, I went to it. It's fucking yeah. fantastic. <laughs> it's, did you it's, cry, Donnie? Did you really? Did, did you really tears? I, you did. I teared. Fucking you know, Mary. Oh, you know when I teared up? <laughs> Mostly it was the Holocaust stuff. You know, eat a dick, yeah. Weatherman. <laughs> You go get on that note, guys. We will see you next time. Be good or be good at it. And uh, I'll catch up with all you fruit loops later. Love everybody. All right.